Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So, I've been giving uh, some thought to sort of the the, the long-term plan, and it's, it, it's somewhat difficult for me to forecast what I'm going to need, because I, of course, am still learning the game, as many of us are. Uh, you know, the game just released on Steam a few days ago, on February 3rd of 2015. Um, so... Again, I don't think anyone's a subject matter expert yet, other than maybe the, the developers. Having said that, um, I have been experimenting with some, some different things uh, in a, a private uh, campaign that I've tried to play when I can. And stress management and maintaining a core set of characters, I think, is the best way to go. So I do have a pretty good roster here, and I'm not going to say that I won't pick up other characters, but... Right now, I'm going to invest in a few of them heavily, and we'll see if this plan works out or not. Um, if it ends up sort of dooming my campaign, well then, hey, I can always start another one. But I think this is a sound theory. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to... Oh, sorry, not the blacksmith. We want to go to the guild. And I want to set Cameron up here since he's my alternate um, crusader. I want to pick up... What is it? Zealous Accusation, because I really like that skill. So he needed that, so that takes care of Cameron. And then, uh, Sashko, I want to invest in him some. And I'm going to go over to the Survivalist to do that, actually. So these are camping skills. And there were a couple that were really interesting to me for stress management. So I've already got Mockery. Reduce uh, all companions uh, by 20, but then you increase you increase one by 20. So to combat that, I was thinking I would grab this turn back time, which reduces stress by 30. That's pretty awesome. We're going to grab that. And then wound care. No. Reduce companion stress by 10. Reduce all companions by 15. Yeah, so I think these three are pretty awesome, and they're relatively low cost. Two cost time, three cost time, three cost time. Yeah, I mean, that's significant stress reduction for your group if you have a jester set up this way. Yeah, so let's change these up. Let's get rid of that one and add in that. Uh, in terms of combat, I don't know that I need Inspiring Tune. I, as a matter of fact, I, I don't want that one on him. I'm going to pick up a different combat skill. So, the question is which one? There's Slice Off. Uh, that's the middle two. Eh, it's damage and a bleed. It's not bad. It's got a high crit chance. Relatively speaking. Uh, Heroic End. That basically is going to hit no matter what, huh? Alright, that's not terrible. But if I'm going to have this in, probably in position 2... Hmm. Okay, that's a forward 3. Do I want that? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think I want to pick up... Heroic End and Slice Off. Hmm. Actually, Harvest is a double, right? Yeah, it is. It's an AoE. Okay, so let's go train that. Come here. Go to the guild. Uh, let's grab Harvest. And... We'll hold off on Heroic End for right now. Actually, that's pretty good, though. That's like a, ah, oh, I really got to do the damage. All right, we'll grab it. So then we want... We want that battle ballad. Plus two to ac accuracy, plus one. No, we're going to grab this. Yeah, so now he's good in the second position, or in the front position, for that matter. 
Okay. So, Sashko, you're gonna become a beast here. And then, let's see, in terms... Are there any trinkets that would complement him? No. Nah, none of those really are ideal for him. Okay, let's take a look at my character. Monster type, plus 15 damage. No, let's leave that on there. Plus 15 damage against humans. Well, I could wear both of these. And it would kind of be balanced out. Yeah, because not monster type, negative 16. But then I'm wearing plus 15 over here. But then I'm still getting... Ah, that's pointless. Leave that alone. I like this bloodthirst ring. Minus 100 food consumed, plus 10% HP, minus 8 dodge. So who's, like, terrible at dodge anyway? The satyrs are, right? Can you dodge? Five dodge? So you kind of suck at dodging anyway. So we could just make it where you don't dodge, but you basically don't take food and you have more HP. So what's, what's the difference there? 33... Hmm, maybe that's not so great. Well, wait a minute, it can't take you negative? Okay, well let's try that then. And then monster type, plus 15 damage. I don't know if that trade-off's worth it. Plus 10% chance debuff skills. Isn't it? That doesn't include stuns, I bet. If it did... Minus 10 accuracy on mankind, huh? I need to get rid of this. We'll do that when Stafford comes out from his R&R. Uh, we'll put Cameron in the uh, uh, insane asylum or whatever and sanatorium or whatever and, and get that removed. Okay, what else can we do? I, I don't want to spend too much more money here. What about Wolfric? Battle Trance. Just looking at the camping skills here. Reduce all... Reduce stress by 25. No. Okay. Here again. They're set up the same, right? No, he's got Breakthrough and the other person's got If It Bleeds. Alright. Polpi, what do you have? we have a Grave Robber only thing in here? No, okay. Sickly and whatever the heck this is. Wound care, pep talk. Okay, the talking. Don't do that. 50% chance to produce food. Night moves. Improve scouting chance until next camp by 30%. That's kind of useful. Hmm. Okay, what about... Let's take a look at Wilson. Plague grenade. Incision, Battlefield Medicine, Emboldening Vapors, Disorienting Blast. Okay, so... I think... That's actually the best setup. What about... Survival ones? Do Stress by 10, Heal 20%. Oh, that's pretty nice. Remove Target Poison, Remove Target Bleeding. That's pretty nice. Preventative. Increase blight resist. That's nice. Bleed, disease. Leeches. What's this? 75% chance to heal, 50%. That's pretty good. Hmm. I kind of like this. Hmm. 
Where's the debuff thing? 10% chance to debuff skills. 8% damage. Yeah, okay. He can have that. Okay, what else? I think that's it for now. Let's go ahead and uh, let's try another adventure, shall we? So in the ruins now, we've got quite a few different options here of varying levels. Uh, hmm. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Let's activate three corrupted altars. Okay, that sounds interesting. Let's do that. So let's grab a uh, cam. You can take spot one. And Sashko, you take spot two. Hmm. Actually, Cameron, you sit this one out. Actually, let's go back. Hold on. Sanitarium. Come here, Cam. Yeah. All right. So, he'll get rid of that while we're out adventuring. And instead, I think what we're going to do is take... Let's see. Ruin Scrounger. So, we have plus 10% chance of scouting... Lurker, Tough, Precision Striker. Yeah, Kerrigan's pretty awesome, actually. Okay, so you're going to take spot one. And then... Sashko's going to take spot two. I'm going to take spot three. And then probably Wilson. Yeah. Wilson will take spot four. I like it. That looks like a strong group. Okay, let's grab... Oh, used to purify corrupted altars. Okay, great. Uh, let's take a shovel. One's, well, let's take one. And then torches. I'll try to be a little bit more careful in my use of those. Some bandages for sure. We'll take one skeleton key. Uh, we'll take one anti-venom. Right? That's blight and stuff, right? Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, food, right? <laughs> you thought I was gonna forget it! Twelve? Eh, I'll grab a couple extras. Alright, we ready? I think we are. I've just been having so much fun playing this game. I really have. Can the defiled be consecrated? Can the fallen find rest? Okay, so... I Maybe I don't know how to do it, but it would be nice um, if you could sort of grab this backing of the of the map and, like, pull it down so that you could, like, see the other areas. That would be a cool if they could add that feature. Or if you can do it and I just don't know how. <laughs> Entirely possible. All right, let's backtrack and clear. So we'll go here, we'll go back to this room, and then we'll move forward again, go up here, come back down, and then we'll head, head around the side here. Sounds like a plan. Alright, Wilson, check this out. There we go, good job. In Radiance, may we find victory. Alright. Let's see, what do we want to do here? Probably our grape shot? Yeah. Nice! <laughs> okay, harvest? Oh, Sashko, come on. Disappointed. Stun. Hmm. 
Stun or whack? Um, hmm. Hold on, let's think about this. Yeah, we'll stun him. That's sort of the safe bet. And stun back there. At least one of them, anyway. There we go. Give them no quarter. Uh, hmm. Kind of want to try this heroic end thing. It's only against the front two, huh? Oh, so if we had a pull, like if we wanted to get this person, we could pull her and then use that. Okay. Got it. I'll have to remember that. Hmm. I could hit her and then it, it'll leave a bleed on her. But she's stunned, so let's just kill this guy. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. As oh, that was nice. Falls. Faint hope blossoms. Missed. No. There we go. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Okay, let's grab all that stuff. You go back to that spot there, and this is what the altar. Well, that's a holy fountain. Uh, okay. So that's not the altar. Right, right. Okay. Let's take a look. Scouting. Oh, I got fights in either direction, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna head... Is that, is that an altar? I don't know. We're going to scout both of these anyway. All right, let's go to this one first. Okay, we have a fight coming up. We're at Radiant Light. All right, let's do it. Nice. Line these guys? Oh, it's just one, right? Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's shuffle this guy forward. He's the one that's dangerous. Yeah, and then let's stun him. Or, I, I meant to stun him, but I killed him. <laughs> Wrong ability. That's okay. He's out of the picture. That's the important part. Hey, now. Take it easy there. Let's try this. Nice. So, single target, I guess, if you just want to do the deal. Wicked Slice 2 is better than Open Vein. Yeah, okay. In terms of just pure damage output. There we go. This expedition at least promises success. Uh, okay. Um, you know what? He needs to eat anyway. There we go. And take those. Light's okay. Let's keep going. Oh, by the way, I, I just want to say thanks to, uh, you know, thanks to th to you guys for, for all the, the feedback I've been getting, particularly on this series. Um, I've got I've got great people in my, my community. I'm really um, I, I have a lot of friends that are that are YouTubers and uh, well, not a lot. I have some friends that are YouTubers 
And uh, part of it's probably that my channel's smaller, uh, but part of it is that I've just been very fortunate that I have really cool people in my community uh, that provide great feedback and they're not jerks about it. And I just want to say thanks, folks. I, I really, really appreciate it. Instead of me just playing these things and you watch them, I, I really feel like we, you know, that there's a interactivity going and, and uh, I play better because I'm encouraged and because you guys give me good advice. So, as an example, I haven't been using as many torches in here because the I'm doing it lit, right before fights, is clear. which is we what was suggested. To follow it. Actually, I think Wilson was the one that suggested that. Wilson, you've been giving me great advice, by the way. Okay. There we go. If I can kill this guy right off, that'd be awesome. This, this guy's dangerous. Back here, the spitter. Uh, matter of fact, let's try... There we go. Nice. Uh, we don't need to cure anything. Um, alright. Missed with the noxious gas. There we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, let's keep going. Uh, light's high enough. Yeah, we're okay. Oh, these guys with the stress goblet thingies. I hate these guys and their stupid little hats. Dazed, reeling, about to break. Ugh. Hmm. All right. Really, that's it. That's pretty lackluster. All right, blind. There we go. Oof. There we go. Alright, now we need to lock these guys down. One resistor, that's not good. Okay, back on lockdown. I need this guy gone. I'm a little nervous here. Come on, I gotta start killing some of these guys. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Oh, come on! Okay, one down. Let's try to... Let's try to kill this guy. There we go. Stunned? Okay, okay. We're, we're gonna be fine. We'll just keep him stunned. Oh, I'm going to actually have to hit something, though. There we go. Woohoo! Wow. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Uh, what do we want to get rid of? I guess this? Okay, now let's, uh... Okay, use one of these deals. How do we do this? Hmm. 
corrupted altar. Right. Can I go like that? There we go. So one has been taken care of. I think we're probably going to need to camp now. Yeah. <laughs> we're looking a little rough. Uh, so let's see. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's camp. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Alright, now, let's see. Do stress by 25. Increase companions by 5. She's got 9 stress. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. He's got 1. Reduce stress by 20. Increase 1 companion. Uh-huh, yeah, okay. Let's start with this. We'll increase her stress. Yep. Yeah. And then reduce all companions by 25, or hers by 25. Reduce all by 15. Actually, hold on, I need one for him. Also need to heal. Hmm. All right, so let's heal a little bit there. What's his stress at? 28? Okay, let's take care of that. And all by 15. Okay, we got anything else that's a 1? Nope, all right. As the light gains purchase. So we may or may not actually be able to pull this clear. off. It's there's quite a bit left up there. I hmm, I don't know. We'll we'll see here. But I'm gonna end this one here and we'll pick it up in the next one. So I hope you've enjoyed this so far. And if you have, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you. Later.